Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2020. We are back. So the Christmas season has been absolutely fantastic. It was one of the best yet. I have to admit I say that every single year, but it really, really was super, super special. Very, very busy, very, very lovely. I had some amazing, amazing, lovely gifts. Everybody in my family had a lovely, lovely time. And it was just really, really special and really, really magical. And certainly one I remember for a very, very long time time and i hope whoever is watching this clip had a very lovely christmas as well and i wish everybody a happy new year and a safe new year and a hopefully a real prosperous one and a healthy one and hopefully whichever you're aiming to do this year you really do get on your way quite quickly to achieving and i wish you the best of luck for that whoever watches this clip so a new year for a lot of people, it does fill people with a lot of sort of gloom, especially January, which, yes, absolutely, I can admit, especially when you've had such a fantastic Christmas and you then get thrown straight into the cold depths of January. But for me, I try and look at that as a real positive. Um, for me, this year, lots of great things are happening. I have to excuse the noises outside. I think somebody's doing something, um, some sort of uh, building work or something. Um, Possibly. I'm not too sure on that. But let's go back into what we were saying. <laughs> so, New Year. Lots and lots of things happen. For me personally, new job, new career start in everything which I've trained in accountancy to be. So it should be absolutely fantastic. Possibly whoever's watching this will be jumping into a new career. Some, are po uh, of course, will be starting new things, such as my twin brother, for example, moving into a new home, new little baby. And of course, that's why I think we should really, really embrace a new year, because lots of things happen new. And of course, there's so much change. Now we're in a new decade. You know, I've heard that quite a lot into a new decade. Of course, I don't think too much will change, but how significant? 2020. Sounds really strange, doesn't it? But hopefully this next one will be full of all happiness and good times and lots of good memories and lots of lots of good things, whether that be career, whether that be around new homes, new family and new people in our lives as well. New Year is a perfect time for embracing change. It's a real great time for setting ourselves new goals. For example, I know a lot of the time people set themselves New Year's resolutions. Sometimes, of course, these can be a little bit pointless, and especially when we set them far, far too ahead of our own expectations or what we can actually achieve. For me, I actually have been prompted by a small idea this year. Um, very often I receive a diary at Christmas, and I have received one. And on each month it says, what are your targets for this month? And you know, I think that's brilliant and as a really great idea. And going forward into this year, as you'd watch from my channel, I really do set myself some quite high goals for myself and of course when they're sometimes they're not necessarily reachable which we know but yet we set them anyway because sometimes we're just generally hard on ourselves sometimes they can be really really hard to reach and of course this affects our mood so for me what i will be doing this year is i will be setting myself monthly goals and for example they may be big things they may be small for example my first goal this month, I am actually studying a course in economics, and that will be to get that one finished. And all sort of like the coursework and things which comes along with that. And then following that, we will then reevaluate what I will be coming up to next. It will probably be with my new job. And then, of course, I'll be setting goals around that month by month. So why not give that a go yourself? Set small things for yourself. A new year really doesn't have to be scary. It should be celebrated and we should embrace change and the opportunity of a fresh start. Another good thing around January, which can also get the year starting off really good, I think, is throwing something new up in your life, for example. Now, whether this can be really small, like revamping your home or changing something different in your style. Another good way of beating off the blues in January. Why not give it a try? For example, what I'll be doing is we are revamping some rooms in my home and getting the paint out and really just going for it. We'll be changing this in my room. I may even be changing up my hairstyle. Probably not, but there you go. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I'm sure people get fed up with me about that, but there we go. It's one of my interests. And you can look forward to some product reviews in 2020. So just a short clip there, just welcoming everybody into 2020. And from me, a very, very happy new year and lots more things to come this year. We will be jumping into some product reviews. We'll be touching on things around career, around studying, and lots, lots more to come. There are huge events happening this year, and I can only hope that there will be more and more success and happiness and great stories to come. Thanks very much for watching, and once again, happy 2020, and I really am 
hoping you've had a really fantastic Christmas and I wish you all the best for the year ahead. So happy new year. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.